Joining me now with more, Sheriff David Clark of the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office and Eric Guster, attorney and political commentator. Great to see you both. Eric, let me start with you. What's the problem with Senator Sessions? You, you heard the, the trace report lay it out. Uh, there are several problems with Senator Sessions. That's why it's very important that he is vetted. Now, I'm not calling him a racist, but a lot of people feel that he is. However, Based on that what? is what vetting is all about. Excuse me, Megan? Based on what? Based on his history. When you have a person who worked with someone and called them boy or who allegedly denies. supported the KKK, which he denied. And that's the purpose of vetting. That's why it's very important that through this process, for him to become attorney general, that he's properly, vet, properly vetted, that people who have testimony that could go to his character are brought forth and under sworn testimony and told exactly what they're saying and what he may have said. So, Megan, he would be the attorney general, the person in charge of civil rights litigation for this nation. That's why he must be one that is fair for everyone, that is not any, has any racial bias or racial, racial, type of, uh, racial type of leaning, and he's very fair to everyone. That's why he would be everyone's AG. Sheriff Clark, anything wrong with vetting? Oh, no, nothing wrong with vetting, but let's be fair about this. Look, President-elect Donald Trump could not have found a more fair qualified, committed to the rule of law and equal justice under law for everybody uh, than uh, Senator Sessions. I got to know Senator Sessions, worked with him on several issues on Capitol Hill. Look, I wasn't around in 86, but most of those allegations have been discredited up to now. And this, this man, this fine man, and I'm tired of people having their character assassinated by this, some, this, this almost like a sport that the left likes to play. When you can't beat somebody on the merits, just throw the R word up there and then watch them squeam and squirm and, and try to get out of it. There's only three things in, in life that uh, just a mere allegation of can be career destroying. It's to be accused of being a domestic abuser when it's not true, a child molester when it's not true, or a racist when it's not true. Uh, look, Senator Sessions will be confirmed. It'll be tough, but there's nothing wrong with that. But I get tired of this, this, this R word being bandied about, like mm -hmm. I said, as if it's some sort of sport. Eric, why Jeff would he put Sessions, the head of the KKK in jail? Why, would, why would he go after the head of the KKK and, and do all the things you heard outlined in that Trace Gallagher report if he were some racist? Right, uh, and not only that, he one, the that's for Eric. She asked me the question, Sheriff. For that uh, clan just member because he who uh, killed Hold a on, young Sheriff. black that one was for Eric. McDonald. And also, just because he, he helped desegregate the, the schools. Hold on. Senator Sessions helped hold on, hold desegregate on, on. the schools in Shit. Alabama. You know, he spent the last 30 years. Look, nobody's perfect. If he made some statements, he called somebody boy. Don't worry, Megan, I'll get I refer to, you. to myself as that. When Can I answer says, the question, Megan? Where are you from? I tell him, I tell him, I'm a Milwaukee boy. Okay, if some people are offended by that, I get that, but that's being hypersensitive. Oh my we God! Need to knock this just stuff because off. he did his and job, and he needs okay. to be vetted. Just because okay, he did his Eric job, vetted. On his qualification, Je Jeff did his job. Hear me. The Attorney General. But let's give of the Eric United the States floor now. It's his turn. Go ahead, Eric. Just because just because he did his job does not mean he has a lack of just just because he did his job that one time does not mean that he is not racist. That is why he needs to be vetted. I am not saying that he's a racist. However, he does have a history of of not doing things that are fair to all people. That is why like so many what? on the left want to make sure want to make sure that he is properly vetted, that people are brought Eric, in what specifically? to testify whether don't, or not. Don't, don't just issue broad statements like that. What what specifically has he done that's that's not fair to people? Uh, he put voter. He put several. He prosecuted several people who were registering voters, black voters, and claimed that they were doing things illegally, which is not true. He also. I'm from Alabama, so I know the history of Jeff Sessions, and I'm very aware of the things that he is accused of 30 years ago. And just because something happened 30 years ago does not mean that it's too far away that it's not relevant now, because this is the attorney general's position, where he is in charge of civil rights litigation, and we have such a broad a broad lane of, of racial injustice is happening that we need help well, we'll find out because judges and juries would have had their say in those cases and if there were convictions you know that then the civil process or the criminal process would have played out we're going to look into all that as he goes forward with his confirmation hearings gentlemen good to see you both